Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another bespoke beer review for all you beer connoisseurs out there. If there's any that watch me, maybe not. We're off to Vault City with this one. We've got a session sour from them, and it's quite an interesting one. Um, it says, um, well, I'll show you what the beer is first, shouldn't I? It says, it is a can of the Cherry Cola Cubes, Super Smashing Great Session Sour, clocking at 4.5% ABV. It stood out to me on the shelf. I had to pick it up. I really did. Um, it says on a fresh fruit locked in, shake to wake. They are. Just shaked it. <laughs> it's going to piss, going to piss everywhere now. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It says, we've taken the sweet, sh the sweet shop for inspiration. With this vegan friendly, vegan friendly session sour, vegan friendly session sour. There you go. Crack open a can of cherry cola cubes and let the memories come flooding back. The memories of my sweet shop when I was a kid was uh, quite blase because I used to nick a load of sweets and I used to get caught for it, but they never really. Anyway, that's going on about something else. You you met you met with reminiscent aromas from childhood, yeah, reminiscent aromas from childhood. What type of aromas do I remember from my childhood? Uh, TCP. Yeah, anybody remember what TCP was? Every time we used to get a, I think you still get TCP. You used to get a graze on your knee or something. And your mother used to kind of like dab it. And, oh, you'll be better in the morning and all this rubbish. Um, <laughs> as our tangy sour base meets bold, juicy flavours, sweet cola and cherry. If you're a sucker for sweets, this old school classic is for you. So there you go. There you go. So, I better get me glass and I and crack it open. Yeah, you know, when you look at the old sweets, okay, cool. When you look at the old sweets what you used to get when you were a kid. You think, how the hell could they get away with giving you kind of like a packet of cigarettes, which were sweets? You know, they even had a chocolate lighter as well. So you can just pretend to be like your old man smoking away. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you wouldn't get away with it now, would you? You really wouldn't. <laughs> but it never harmed me, like. It never harmed me. <laughs> The kids from my generation, nah, we had it good, really. We had it better, I think, than what kids have it now. Um, a little bit of discipline, boys and girls. That's what's missing. That's what's missing from kids these days. Sound like an old fart, and I. A little bit of discipline. <laughs> you know, I, you get smacked, it never hurt me. But I'll tell you what, when you get smacked, you know that you're never going to do it again. If you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm waffling on about parenting skills. <laughs> Anybody out there <laughs> who wants any parenting skills or help with their parenting, don't ask me because I haven't got a clue. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> beer in a glass, as you can see. Look at that. It looks stunning, doesn't it? It does. It looks like if there's if there's any type of beer that is good for encouraging kids to drink, you know, going harking back to them packet of cigarettes you used to get in the sweet shop. This is the type of beer, boys and girls, it really is, because look at it. Kids would dive in that, wouldn't they? <laughs> so what am I getting? Yeah, you do get that kettle sour aroma straight away, and it, you do get an essence of Coke, cola, behind it. You do. It doesn't really smell like my sweet shop used to, though, but, you know. My sweet shop didn't smell of something that's been kettle soured. But, you know. Anyway, I'm four minutes in. I'm waffling on. Classic. I'm going to go in. Cheers. They've done that a while, haven't they? That's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> that is really, really cool. Cherry cubes. See, I don't remember cherry cubes. I remember um, cola cubes. I remember cola bottles. 
for me, it's cola bottles. You get the acidity of the cola bottle. You get the cola. Definitely get the cola. Loads of cola. A tartness on the back end. They've done this. This is this is brilliant. It's brilliant. It is. They've done it. Does it remind me of my childhood? Yeah, to a degree, because cola cola uh, bottles were were my one of my favourite sweets. I used to like the oh, what they are. They were like frisbees or kind of like flying sa flying saucers. Oh, actually called flying saucers with the sherbet in the middle. Mm. Mouthfeel. It's got a refreshing mouthfeel. You know, there, there's a nice there's a nice refreshing mouthfeel, which reminds me of cola in a way. It's, it feels a little bit carbonated, like a like a cola. It does. Um you get the tartness, I've got to say. You do get the element of the sourness on the back end. You get the cola cubes everywhere. And the acidity is like the sugar you get on them as well. Because cola bottles used to have like an acidic edge. If you had too much, if you had too many of them, you kind of had it like your mouth did feel acidic. And you get in that as well. It's cracking. It really is. Um. Don't again. They really have nailed it. They have. They really, really nailed it. Boys and girls, this is an absolute corker. It is. It is. It's an absolute belter. Full City Cherry Cola Cubes, that is exactly what it is. Well, cola bottles where I'm from. It is what you get. That is that is definitely a cola sweet shop in a can. And I, I highly, 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 highly recommend everybody out there to try it. Because it's it's really fun. It's really fun. And that's what beer drinking should be about, shouldn't it? Yeah, really, really fun. Cat's falling asleep, looking at me, rolling its eyes. Oh, here we go. He's going off again. Right, one more for the road, because it is an absolute belter. Mm. Cracking. Thank you very much for watching this beer review. Please buy that. I think it's great. And see you all in my next one. Cheers.